Hello there. In today's episode, we will see how to convert a column into a comma-separated list in Excel. Using a function called text join in Excel, I will try to convert these country names into a CSV in a single cell. To follow along with me, you can click on the link in the video description to download a working copy of this workbook. This workbook has two sheets. The first one is see it. This is where I will demonstrate. And the second one is do it. That is for you to practice. Now let me go into the see it sheet. Before I get started, let me tell you this. The function we are about to use is available in Excel 2019, 2021, 2024 and Office 365 as well as on Excel for the web. In case if you are using a different version of Excel, you may want to try upgrading in order to use this function. Now, in cell C2, I will start typing in the function text join. And that function appears in my selection. I'll just select that and press tab on the keyboard. Now, this function requires three arguments. The first one is the delimiter. What is the delimiter? That is the separator between these values that we are going to use. So I am going to use a comma. That is, I want all my values to be separated with a comma followed with a space. For that, I will start double quotation, insert comma, give a space and close my double quotation. So in between the double quotation, I have provided a comma followed with a space. So that will be used as a separator between each country name, comma. Now the second argument. Excel is asking me whether to ignore the empty cells in that range. If you set this to true, it will ignore it. If you set this to false, it will not ignore it and will bring that blank cell also in our CSV. So in this case, I would like it to ignore. So I will set it to true, comma. Now we can provide the list of cells, that is a range. We want the values to be captured as comma separated values, that is CSV. I want Excel to capture this column and convert it into a CSV. After selecting that, I will just close the bracket and press enter on my keyboard. There we go. We have converted a column into a CSV list in Excel. I request you to go into the do it sheet now and try practicing what you just learned. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will try exploring different dimensions of Excel. Thank you and have a very lovely day.